Today, I'm back with another mega physical media ranking video for you all. Today, I'm talking my top 25 favorite sequels of all time, ranking them from the worst to the best. So get ready for me to dump my favorite number twos on you, because we got a lot of movies here, so I'm only going to say a little bit about each film as we go through them. Now, I know my list isn't the correct list. You would have a completely different list out there. So as I go through my own, leave yours in the comments. So starting at the bottom here, we are going to have to go with Paranormal Activity 2. I do think this is an improvement over the first movie. Now, I don't love this franchise overall. That's why this one's at the bottom. But I do like how this sequel goes to a different family that I find more interesting. But it still ties into the first one. By the end of it, it is fairly shocking. So I will take this as a solid sequel. All right, next up. We got another horror movie of sorts, and this is going to be Evil Dead 2. Yes, I like this sequel over the original, even though the original is great and very innovative and shocking for the time. I like how the second one is more of a horror comedy, so you get those comedic elements in there. You find yourself laughing in the weirdest moments, but there's still great practical effect work in here. Ash with the chainsaw hand, you cannot beat that, so gotta shout out some Evil Dead 2. All right, next up, we got another horror movie, I believe, and we got Critters 2, the main course. Yes, I love the Critters franchise. I think it's a lot of fun, awesome creature feature, very similar to Gremlins, but Critters 2 is better than Critters 1 because you get more Critters, more Critter epic action. I mean, they become a giant fur ball and start rolling over people. You cannot beat that, so I got to shout out some Critters 2 here. All right, next up, another horror movie. I know my horror fans are going to love this list, except maybe this one. But that's okay. I like it better than the first, and that's going to be It, Chapter 2. I do like this one better. Reason why is because I love the opening scenes. I love how it shows that being an adult can be absolutely terrifying in certain situations. I mean, even more scary than the It creature itself. So I think it sets up the movie really well. Yeah, it does kind of become formulaic and rinse and repeat in the middle. I get that criticism, but then I do like the ending. I think the fight against a giant it monster is really cool and has some shocking moments. So overall, I do like this one better than the first. Now getting into the superhero genre, I'm going to pull Ant-Man and the Wasp. You actually get the Wasp in here fighting in the awesome costume. I love the fighting choreography here for everyone, including the villain. Ghost is awesome. How they phase through the people during the fight sequences is great. I love the size manipulation in this movie. Of course, Ant-Man getting to become Giant Man. Also, in between, looking like a toddler is kind of funny. And then also, you can see the cars. They expand as well, which is a whole lot of fun for some of the street sequences in San Fran. So, I have a great time with Ant-Man and the Wasp. I do think it's a slight improvement over the first one, even though the first one is great. All right, next up. Oh, this one is so good for my families out there. You got Sing 2. This is a great animated musical of sorts i love the singing and dancing numbers in here it's very entertaining has a lot of funny moments all the characters is great awesome voice star cast i mean you really can't go wrong with this movie i mean you even get bono in here as uh, the lion so great fantastic movie i do think it's more epic than the first scene so gotta shout out that scene too all right next up back to some horror movies we gotta have Phantasm 2 on there. To me, Phantasm 2 is way better than the first one. You get a higher budget, better effects. You get more explosiveness. I love the spear in here. It is awesome. So for a kind of horror, sci-fi, fantasy, I think this movie is great. Of course, The Tall Man, such a terrifying villain. So I really enjoy Phantasm 2 over the first one. All right, next up, we got to have... Some Sonic 2 action. I do like this one over the first one because of the third act. The third act is so epic. I mean, when you see Sonic transform and it is going down, it is so fun. You get Tails in this movie and Tails is my favorite Sonic character. And then what this movie promises 
by the end credit scene. I'm just so hyped for Sonic 3. I love Sonic 2. I mean, you even got Dr. Robotnik with the mustache now, looking just like the character from the games. I mean, really, you can't go too wrong with this one. Yeah, I get in the middle with the wedding sequences. Could have been improved, but still, overall, really like Sonic 2. All right, next up, we're going to have another family movie. For the holidays, we got Santa Claus 2, which I do prefer over the first one. I just like kind of the cancel of the holiday hero characters. You got Sandman, you got Easter Bunny. I mean, to me, it's just really cool looking to see them all show up. I think this movie is hilarious. I love the villain of the robotic uh, Santa Claus. That thing is terrifying. I mean, as a kid, I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh, just a fun movie overall. Really enjoyable, I think, for the whole family. All right, next up, we got oh, another great family movie, Paddington 2. If you have not seen Paddington 2, do yourself a favor. You got to check this one out. And, of course, this was mentioned in The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, which was an awesome name drop. But Paddington 2 is so good. So is the first one, but the second one takes it up to another level. It's just so charming and funny and heartfelt, and the journey is great. You'll never look at Marmalade the same way again so Paddington 2 is an absolute must in any collection that's how good that movie is all right next up we're going to have all oh, this one is so good get into the action a little bit here and we're going to have Rush Hour 2 which I think is an improvement over the first one because to me it's more comedic you're laughing a lot but you still great Great action moments, awesome fighting choreography in here, but the chemistry you can see is really there between uh, Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. I mean, so hilarious in this movie. It's just a fun time. So I do like this over the first one, even though the first one is still good. This one to me is great. All right, next up, oh, this is a good family movie. We got Shrek 2. To me, is an improvement over the first. I'd rather watch Shrek 2 over the first one because I think you have more satirical moments that are just so laugh out loud funny. You got Prince Charming in here, the fairy godmother. I love the singing and dancing sequences towards the end of the movie. I mean, every character has great moments in here. Donkey, Pinocchio, you name it. It is a fun time. Really like this movie. So yeah, got to shout out Shrek 2. All right, next up. We are going to have Friday the 13th Part 2, my favorite out of the Friday the 13th series. I think this one is very entertaining. To me, it feels the most like a Friday the 13th movie with the camp setting. I love the Jason with the bag on his head. It's just super terrifying. I think the final girl is great in the movie. It's just very entertaining to me. So I do like this one over the first one. All right, next up. Oh, such a good movie. This whole franchise is great, actually. But, of course, we got to have Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. I like how this one is more horror-like. You got all the voodoo. Oh, so terrifying when I was a kid watching this one. Them just kind of going through that underground world and all that fantasy and mysticism. Tearing out the heart. I mean, oh, my gosh. And then you got, of course, Kiku Kwan um, as a um, little shortstop there. Uh, very entertaining character awesome movie so i really enjoy this one i definitely get more entertained by this one than uh the first indiana jones movie but i mean first three are also great all right next up we are now into the mummy returns an awesome fantasy adventure movie I like this one better than the first one because it just takes it up to a whole nother journey level. I love seeing the Anubis army rise. And then you got the rock in here as the Scorpion King. And you see Brendan Fraser team up with Emotep that take on the rock. I mean, epic final showdown. I love this movie. So entertaining. Oh, such a great sequel. All right. Speaking of great sequels, going back to the superhero genre. We got Captain America, The Winter Soldier. I love how this is a political spy thriller. Very different for the comic book genre than we've ever seen before this kind of movie. You can see how the kind of corruption seeps into an organization. And then Captain America is even questioning what's going on here. This is not like the old times. And I love that fish out of water story with that one. You get Black Widow, of course, Nick Fury. And then The Winter Soldier catching the shield. Oh my gosh, one of the best moments in comic book history. I love this movie. So, so good. 
All right, next up, you guys know I love this franchise. I watch it all the time. That is Rocky 2. To me, this is an improvement over the first Rocky. I love the first one, but the first one's even more of a drama story. This one, to me, is more action-packed. I love when they get into the training montages. The kids are running with him. Uh, you got the chicken catching sequences, all that great stuff. But this movie, I love the final match. I love the showdown because you got Apollo. He wants to come after this guy. He wants to show everybody that this was an accident the first time around. But you see Rocky still giving it his all. And then it gets down to coming up at the last second. Who's going to make the time and win? And finally, Rocky wins. Ah, oh, such an amazing moment. Love this movie. So good. All right, next up, we got Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. I love the epic war scenes in this movie. The Battle of Helm's Deep is the best battle of any of the Lord of the Rings movies. It is so entertaining and terrifying, those Yurikai. It's just really cool. I love how when uh, Gandalf rides in, you know, look to the light on that day, and then he comes in on the horses. I mean, oh, so epic scale. I love it. And then you got the Ents in here, the giant trees. They are entertaining. They have a moment as well with the water rushing in and the great music. You cannot go wrong with the Two Towers. I love this sequel. All right, speaking of loving sequels, we got to have that X-Men 2 action in here. Introduces my favorite X-Men character of all time, Nightcrawler. That opening sequence is brilliant, so entertaining. And I just love all the characters in this movie. You got Pyro, get a little bit of Colossus in there. I mean, Striker is absolutely terrifying. So to me, this is way better than the first X-Men, but I still like that one. It's just X-Men 2 is on a whole nother level. All right, speaking of great Superman, uh, superhero sequels, not Superman, even though I wouldn't mind pulling a little Superman too, but I think I like the first one just a little bit better. But we are on to Spider-Man 2. Yes, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man 2. I love this movie. This movie is great. It is so awesome to see how Peter Parker now has to deal with being in college, the adult life, trying to balance being Spider-Man with working with school. You see, he gets so stressed out, he wants to give it up, and he does quit. But then he sees the fallout there, right? You got Alfred Molina in there as Dr. Octopus. And so I love kind of the philosophical elements going around. And then the action sequences are great. The train sequence, and then they see that he's Spider-Man. Oh, he's just a kid. Oh, that is such a great moment, but they're not going to tell anybody. I mean, such powerful stuff for a superhero movie. I love Spider-Man 2. Uh, music is epic once again. I mean, can't really go wrong with this one. One of the best superhero movies of all time still. All right, next up, my favorite action movie of all time. You know I gotta have Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Arnold is awesome in this movie. Now as the hero, but to see how he learns and becomes like a father character to John Connor, those moments are great. But this movie just has some of the best action scenes ever. Uh, it's so entertaining. You got Miles Dyson in there. You got uh, Sarah Connor now, of course. You know, a warrior, not like the first movie, who's all in shock and very timid, but now has been trained and is ready to go after these Terminator. I mean, oh, so entertaining. Oh, so good, so good. A lot better than the first. I love the first one. The first one's more horror. This one's more action-packed. And I totally just love this one. It's so good. All right, speaking of sequels I love, that I didn't think we would ever get this movie. It was very shocking when it was announced. And that is Top Gun Maverick. Wow, came out so much later than the Top Gun original. But this movie takes it up 10 levels. It is so entertaining. The sound is great here. The jet flying sequences. You feel like you're flying in these planes. I mean, the stunts the cast were able to do. I mean, Tom Cruise is perfect acting in this movie. You really feel the hearts and emotions here. You got comedy. You got action. You got romance. You got everything to make a great movie. I mean, the cinematography is fantastic here. This movie is perfection. I love Top Gun Maverick. I can watch it all the time. Oh, Highway to the Danger Zone. You cannot go wrong. All right, next up. Oh, you guys, like I said, you know I love this franchise. We're going to have Creed 2. I prefer this over Creed 1 because I love seeing Drago back and his kid and all the fallout from Rocky 4. I love those connections with the father. I mean, it just works perfectly to see that old rivalry Again, the Montas sequences are fantastic. You see Adonis Creed just get broken down. And then he has to rise like a phoenix in the desert and come back. And then, oh, it's so, and then throwing in the towel. Oh, it is great. I love how these fights keep you guessing. Creed 2, 
amazing movie. To me, this one just gets me choked up. I love it so much. All right, next up, we are on to Back to the Future Part 2. You guys know I love this franchise. To me, I love how this movie goes into the future. You see like Jaws 25, you got hoverboards, you got the flying cars, you got the pizza that expands. When I saw this movie as a kid, I'm like, this is cool. I want to live in this world. I love all this technology. So one of the great science fiction stories of all time, uh, the sports almanac, and you really get to see different kind of uh tales to this story here because you see okay what would happen to hill valley uh if biff were to be able to come into power and then it's very dark you get almost kind of like that star wars 5 empire strikes back vibe where is this gonna go a bad way is this gonna finish uh you know in, in a terrifying spot but no it picks back up they have to go back again and yeah it does kind of get jumbled all over the place because they're doing so much with the timelines i get it but I'm still very entertained, and this movie is very intriguing to me. Uh, I love it. I mean, Michael J. Fox, Marty McFly, you cannot go wrong. Then you got the Doc in here. Oh, great. All around great cast. Now on to my number one favorite sequel of all time. And you guys know I got to go with that Batman action, The Dark Knight. I love this franchise here. To me, this is such a great movie. It is so entertaining. Such an improvement over Batman Begins, even though I do really like that one. The Dark Knight takes it up to another level. Of course, it becomes more of a crime drama. You got Heath Ledger as a Joker, which is perfect casting. Absolutely terrifying and shocking moments. I mean, you got the pencil. Oh, it is so great. I love all the philosophical elements, too, about anarchy in there and just the train of thought of the Joker. And then you got the Batman proving, hey, not everybody's as bad as you think in the world. I love that dynamic back and forth. And then you got Two-Face with Harvey Dent that comes in, you know, taking Gotham's white night bringing him down to the joker's level that's such a great moment in the movie and this movie just kind of keeps you on your toes and it is just so entertaining it's such a dark story and absolutely terrifying but it is a perfect sequel in my opinion i love that movie so much so i have to shout out the dark knight but there you go those are my top 25 favorite sequels of all time a lot of sequels that i think are better than the originals but now it's time to hear from you all out there if you haven't put your list down Go ahead, put it in the comments below. What are your favorite sequels of all time? You don't necessarily have to do 25. If you have a top five or a top 10, go ahead, shout that down below, of course. And if you're a Bluetuber out there and you want to throw up a video going over your top 25, go for it. I welcome that as well. I would love to see everybody's list out there in the community and we can just have a great time talking those movie sequels. And if you love collecting physical media just like me and being part of this amazing league of mega film fans, make sure you subscribe right now. That way you stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. Your kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. And if you enjoyed this physical media ranking video, check out another one. Also, like the video. And this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day. And thank you so much, my Mega Membership supporters.